The time is 11.16 a.m. Friday 27 August 2021. News headline. I pop suit. U.S. court summons Secretary of State Blinken for selling fighter jets to Buari government. Following a suit filed by the indigenous people of Biafra against the sale of fighter jets to President Muhammadu Buhari's regime, a United States District Court of the District of Columbia has summoned the Secretary of State, Antony Blinken. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, is seeking an independent nation for Igbos, especially in the southeast and parts of Nigeria's south-south region. Within 21 days after service of this summons on you, not counting the day you received it, or 60 days if you are the United States or a United States agency, or an officer or employee of the United States, described in Fed R C I V P 12A 2 or 3, you must serve on the plaintiff an answer to the attached complaint or emotion under Rule 12 of the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure, the summons said, according to People's Gazette. The IPOP had sued the U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin over the sale of attack planes, arguing that the war machines would be weaponized against the masses opposed to Buhari's regime. United States-based constitutional lawyer Bruce Fain filed the case in the federal court in Washington on behalf of the group and 10 unidentified individuals from Nigeria. Buhari had ordered 12 A-29 Super Tucano fighter jets to tackle the ongoing war against Boko Haram. Six of the planes were delivered in July. Six more jets are expected in a deal of $600 million approved by former President Donald Trump. The U.S. Air Force, fight, Force Fighters and Advanced Aircraft Directorates are told Nigeria that its six Tucano jet fighters would be ready for delivery by October. President Buhari's intent to use the Super Tucano Advanced Weapons to kill and maim Buafrans and destroy their properties in its ongoing genocide conducted by Fulani controlled security forces guilty of atrocious human rights violations, IPOP said in a July 31 complaint. At present, the complainant pointed out President Buhari is conducting a genocide of Piafrans that is under investigation by the International Criminal Court through the use of its Fulani controlled security forces, including the Nigerian Air Force. In Amdekanu's abduction and repatriation to Nigeria from Kenya in June 2020, also cited in the court documents as a demonstration of Mr. Buhari's brutish leadership. United States of America news at this. The analysis. Sometimes ago, in July 22, 2021, the Nigerian Air Force on Thursday took delivery of the first batch of six A-29 Super Tucano aircraft from the United States. The Director of Public Relations and Information NAF Headquarters Edward Gabbett and Herr Komodo announced this in a statement in Abuja. According to them, the aircraft arrived at Kano at about 12.34 p.m., where he added that the officials that received the aircraft included the Minister of Defense Bashir Magashi, Chief of Army Staff Kwas Faruk Yaya, and Chief of Air Staff Oladayo Amao. The Nigerian Air Force said that, that the first batch of the Super Tucano aircraft would arrive from the United States at the end of July. So the Air Force at last year stated, at last year stated that the air fighters from Nigeria were already in the U.S. receiving additional training on the usage and application of the fighter jets when eventually added to the fleet of combat aircraft. The aircraft are expected to aid the fight against insecurity in the northeast and other parts of the country where Mr. Gabquet said an induction ceremony for the newly acquired aircraft will be done in August. And apart from the Tucano fighter jets, Nigeria is also expecting other fighter jets from Pakistan. 
They said that they are expecting a 3J17 fighters from Pakistan, 12 Super Tucano from the United States, 1M171 out of the 12 A29 Super Tucanos from US, 6 are almost in Nigeria, and uh, to add, and those that are to handle them have been sent on training for that purpose, Mr. Abubakar says. And as a result of this, the IPOP had actually filed a case, a case, a, a lawsuit uh, by uh, by the IPOP about the sales of this fighter jet to President Muhammadu Buhari, whereby the United States District Court of the District of Columbia had actually summoned the Secretary of the State, Anthony Blinken, who allegedly sold this jet to the President Muhammadu Buhari's regime. They actually said that uh, the, the United States-based constitutional lawyer, Bruce Fain, who filed the case in the federal court in Washington on behalf of the group and some 10 individuals from Nigeria who are yet unknown.